So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, Alexander Usyk is golding Anthony Joshua. Uh, guys, I want to talk about the Alexander Usyk situation and Eddie Hearn signing with the zone. So guys, Alexander Usyk is golding Anthony Joshua. Um, I think, I personally think, well, the WBO have uh, granted an extension. Uh, so basically, they've granted an extension for uh, Anthony Joshua to come to an agreement with Alexander Usyk. Maybe they know that the deal is very close. I personally think this will happen. I just think that Anthony Joshua will lose a lot of credibility if he doesn't fight. And I know Eddie Hearn was in the week talking about, you know, Anthony Joshua's credit in terms of like this guy will fight anyone. I agree with that. The problem is, is the reason why he was talking like that is because he felt if he doesn't fight Alexander Usyk, people shouldn't give him stick. I believe he would have done because I, I think I think people would have felt that, OK, you fought two old guys in Povetkin and Pulev um, for the when they were mandatory. But now you had a live guy, pound for pound great. And people think that Usyk has a very good chance of being Joshua. You've decided not to take that fight. I think people would have looked at that and thought, yeah, you know, uh, I think that, you know, I think he, I think the people would have questioned whether he really wanted that fight. And because of the fact how good Usyk is, they avoided it. I don't think Anthony Joshua is made like that. I think Anthony Joshua would fight anyone. Uh, and I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with people when people say, oh, well, Joshua is looking to avoid Usyk. I don't think Joshua is that's his makeup. I don't think that's his character. I think Joshua is the type of guy, if he loses, he loses. Um, you know, if he loses to Usyk, he loses to Usyk. I don't think he's afraid to take on a challenge. I don't think you can tell from, the, from his career. And I don't, think, I don't think he would want to avoid Usyk. I don't think he's the type of guy. Because here's the thing. If Joshua beats Usyk, he would get him out of the way, right? And then he, Because that's one guy that, peop, that I think Joshua should fight in the future anyway. Even if, he, even if he doesn't fight now, I think that's a future opponent. That's a guy Joshua says he wants to be around for a very long time. Usyk is a credible opponent, a top guy. You know, Usyk, without question, who's Joshua's best win? What, um, Klitschko? Would you say Usyk is a better win right now than what Klitschko was at that age? Klitschko was finished. Like, he was old. You know, he's 41 years of age. I, I would say Usyk is probably Joshua's best win. Who's, who's Joshua beat? I know Usyk isn't a big heavyweight, whatever, but who's Joshua beat as good as Alexander Usyk? Let's see some of his best wins. Pavetkin, Parker. All of, for me, both guys lose to Usyk. I think Usyk beats both those guys. So who else has Joshua beat? Ruiz, I think, I think Usyk beats Ruiz. So to be honest with you, I, I don't really see a lot on his resume that I would say is better than, or I don't think anyone's better than Usyk on his resume. You know, Klitschko, you can argue, but the fact is Klitschko is, was past his best. He was a lot older, uh, still a very tough fight for him. But, you know, it, I don't think Klitschko was in his prime. But having said that, I think Usyk... If he was to beat Usyk, I do think Anthony Joshua's credibility will go through the roof. I know there will still be people that will find a way to hate. But for me, I think he would be beating a top, top tier guy. Because I, I, I really rate Usyk very highly. And I actually think Usyk has a very good chance of beating Joshua. So if Joshua was to win that fight, wow. That, his resume all of a sudden for me becomes very, very, very good. Even though it's good now, but I think it just becomes, wow. That resume starts looking thick and the opponents on there start looking very good. And then he just then he just needs to fight uh, Fury and that's it. And then you could say, wow, that's an all time great resume. It, you, you, like you, there's very few resumes like that. Anthony Joshua's resume is stacked. However, right now, I would say he's fought some good guys. But I think if you look at the young guys, Parker, but when you look at the way Parker's career has developed after that, you know, you question how great was that win. Uh, then you look at like Povetkin. I know we beat Dillian White, but if you look at after the Joshua fight, Povetkin hasn't looked really that good. You know, people thought he lost to Hunter. He didn't look great against Fury. And then in, even in the Dillian White fight, you know, he was looking terrible until he landed that huge punch. And then in the second fight, he got completely blown away. So I, I do question how good, you know, Povetkin was kind of past his best, even though I think when he fought Joshua, he still had a little more, but... I still think that I still don't think Povetkin was anywhere near his best. He was old, even when he fought Joshua. And then you look at Pulev again, a 39-year-old. You know, 
good these are good names don't get me wrong good names but you'd expect joshua to beat them at that point you know he hasn't been involved in many 50 50 fights and by the way i'm not saying Usyk and joshua is a 50 50 fight but i would say that's definitely a 60 40 or 55 40 I, I definitely think that's a very good fight I definitely, that's a fight that I feel Joshua could get beat. I didn't think him going into the Pulev and Povetkin fights that those guys were guys that could beat him. And if you look at my videos that I did, I, I didn't give him much of a chance to beat Joshua. Ruiz. Again, I, I think that was a more of a shock. I, I didn't expect Ruiz to beat Joshua. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I, I, think, I, think, I think Ruiz kind of... I think Ruiz is what he's a good fighter. Um, and I think Eddie Hearn likes to pump Ruiz up because of the fact that he beat Joshua. But I don't think, you know, we saw against Ariola. Ruiz is what he is. He's a tough guy that can give anyone a tough night's work. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I, I think there's other guys out there that could beat him. You know, when, when Eddie Hearn says he's a top five heavyweight, I'm, I'm not saying he isn't right now on what he's achieved. But I, I do think there's more than five heavyweights that can beat him. I do. You know, if Chris Ariola almost had him rocking all over the place, then why can't, you know, Wilder beat him? Or why can't Dillian White beat him? Or why can't uh, Hergovic beat him? You know, why can't, you know, there's many guys better than, you know, Joe Joyce beat Ruiz. There's many guys out there better than, what's his name? Ariola. Ariola's past his best. Even Derek Chisora could give Ruiz a good rumble, you know? I'm not saying that that's uh, Derek Chisora win, but I think he could give him a good fight. You know, Jared Chirora has been looking good of late. So I do think there's guys out there that can beat Andy Ruiz. So I, I, I think this fight, Joshua Usyk is a tough fight. I do. I think people are overlooking Usyk. They're saying he's too small. Nah. I, I think Usyk's got skills and I think he's a problem for anyone. I think he's a problem for anyone. I think, unfortunately for Usyk, until he proves it against someone like Joshua, he's not going to get the credit. I believe he will. I believe, I believe either way, even if he was to lose, I think he's going to put up a kind of fight where his stock's going to go through the roof. I think, I think he's a problem. I do. And I've said it all along that I don't think this is an easy fight. Remember, I say how it is. I've said that Pulev and Povetkin ain't beating Joshua. I, I said Joshua will beat him comfortably. I'm not sure about this fight. Uh, like I said, I, I can see this fight going either way. Don't overlook Alexander Usyk. Usyk is a much harder fight than Povetkin and much harder fight than Ruiz uh, for me, uh, for Joshua. This is a tough fight. And right now, Usyk is goading Anthony Joshua because he's saying, are you brave enough? Uh, sign that contract. Let's get it done. I do believe it's going to get done because I don't think... I don't think, um, like I said, I don't think Joshua is the type of guy to avoid a challenge. Joshua has shown throughout his career that he steps up to the plate. And this will just be another time. And you'd have to say if he fights Usyk, his resume is looking unbelievable. Even if he was to lose to Usyk, you have to say this guy is not afraid of taking on a challenge. If you compare his resume to like Wilder's and Fury's, it's, it's not, you can't even compare it really. And then bearing in mind, he's probably going to fight the winner of Wilder Fury. If he was to beat Usyk, so that resume is unrivaled, really. When you think about it, I, 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 yeah, I do. I think he's given Khan and Froch a very good run for their money in terms of their resumes, and I think those those guys' resumes are very underrated and packed, by the way. Right, and I think Joshua's coming close. Or now, I, I, I think even though, like I said, there's some iffy wins in there with the guys that. You know, but if he beats Usyk and then fights Fury then, and wins those fights, then you have to say he's number one in terms of resume. His resume is looking unbelievable. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I hope, I hope, the, I hope this Usyk fight goes through because it's, it's a very good fight. It's a very good fight. I, I like that fight. I like the fight. I think it's a, it's a fight that, you know, we're going to see a lot about Joshua in this fight. This is not an easy fight. I know people keep saying who six this easy. No, 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 no. This is a tough fight. It's a tough fight. Usyk is a very, very, very good fight. Oh, he's at cruiserweight. Well, we'll see. Oh, he didn't look great against Chisora, but did he win? That's what Usyk does. He may not look impressive, but he wins. He wins. He finds a way. He hasn't shown any vulnerability in terms of his chin. You know, his boxing ability is second to none. And let's be honest, he's got, more, he's got the superior skills out of him and Joshua. 
He's the superior boxer. It's just whether Joshua's size will be too much. That we don't know. And Usyk isn't as small as what people think. The man's six foot three and he's, and he's big. He's a big guy, right? He's not a small, yeah, he might not be built like a heavyweight, but he's still a big dude. You know, he's as big as the old day heavy, the, the heavyweights of the, of the past. Right, he would be a, a very big, decent-sized heavyweight of, of, you know, 30 years ago. It's just that now the heavyweights of today are giants. But yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I don't think Usyk should be overlooked. And I think Usyk is hungry. Usyk wants it. He's hungry. He wants to fight Anthony Joshua. He's not worried about fighting anybody else or fighting Joe Joyce. He wants the Joshua fight. He's been wanting that fight for a while. He's very, very hungry. Like I said, this is a man with a lot of skills. A lot of skills. And a man that shouldn't be overlooked. Shouldn't be overlooked. He's got his skills pay the bills, man. His skills are unbelievable. And there's a lot of people out there that think Usyk beats Joshua. This is why I think that fight, is gonna, that fight for Joshua's legacy is going to be a lot greater than the fights he's had past because I don't think many people gave Parker a chance. I don't think many people gave Ruiz a chance the first time. I know the second time after Ruiz beat him, people were like, oh yeah, that was a good win for Joshua in the rematch. But first time, nobody gave Ruiz a shot. Povetkin, no one really gave Povetkin a shot. Pulev, nobody really gave Pulev a shot. They were massive one-sided fights, according to a lot of the people. This isn't a massive one-sided fight. There's a lot of people out there that think Usyk can beat Joshua. So there's a different, there's a different, you know, feeling about this fight. Like I said, I didn't give Pulev or Povetkin a chance against Joshua or a puncher's chance. Because you always have that with Joshua because he's shown he's vulnerable. But with this, I think this is an even contest. I think this is a, where a fight where Joshua could get outboxed. He could get outfought. And there, that's the difference. This is a proper fight. This is a proper boxing match. Whereas I didn't think that Usyk, I mean, I didn't think Povetkin and, and, and Pulev could outbox Joshua. And I, and I thought he was too strong and they would get worn down because of their age. They would tire. Whereas that's not the same with Usyk. Usyk's in his prime. He's fresh. He hasn't had many wars. He's very, very he's a lot more skillful than Pulev and Povetkin. He's more decorated. He's achieved more. He's confident. He's not tasted defeat. Something that Pulev and Povetkin had done before facing Joshua. This is an unbeaten guy. That's got skills. That hasn't like like I said, all of that for me. This is Josh. For me, this is Joshua's toughest fight. If this fight gets signed, Usyk is Joshua's toughest fight to date for me. Without question, toughest fight. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this is Joshua's toughest fight? I believe Alexander Rusik is. I believe it is. Just a quick one on Hearn. Yeah, Hearn signing a, a deal with his own. Um, it's great news here for us in the UK. I think it's... Um, um, I think, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with Joshua and Dillian White. I think they're still with Sky. I think they'll probably move over. Maybe, you know, Dizon will give them, a, or offer them a deal. Who knows what happens? But I, I think it's great. I think, you know, there's, uh, Eddie Hearns talked about, uh, you know, his own media production, Matchroom Media and stuff like that. We'll be doing a production, with, doing a production for the shows and stuff. It's going to be interesting to see. You know, I, I liked... Hearn and Sky's relationship, I think it was really good. I think it was really good for British boxing. But, you know, change is not always bad. You know, sometimes change is for good. Sometimes people don't like change. But uh, let's see. Let's see what, you know, what Hearn has. You know, Eddie Hearn wouldn't leave Sky if he wasn't, sh if he wasn't confident. If he wasn't confident that this is going to be... The next level, because you here's the thing: you wouldn't leave something that has been a proven success and taken your business to another level if you're not sure that this is going to be something mega. And I don't think I think Eddie Hearn's too smart, you know. So listen, you never know; everything's a pun. 
But I just think this is going to be, I think this is going to be mega. And I think DAZN have very, very, um, their, in, their visions about boxing are very, very, in my opinion, broad. And I feel like they could take, they're looking to take things to the next level. Um, the budgets and everything that they're going to be offering her are probably going to be a lot greater. And I think uh, the shot, you may see deeper cards, you may see better fights. You know, you may you may see a lot more than what we got on Sky. And to be fair, Hearn delivered quite a bit on Sky. So if if we get even better cards than what he was delivering on Sky, and let's be honest, Eddie Hearn was putting on the best cards and best shows, you know, of everyone in the, uh, in the UK. Then and if we're going to get even better fights and better cards, then we're in for a treat because, it, like I said, Eddie Hearn's not disappointed really. When you think about it. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about Eddie Hearn signing a five-year deal with DAZN. What do you guys make of it? What do you think? Are you happy? Are you not happy? You know, it's not going to be pay-per-view. Uh, do you think they're going to bring out a pay-per-view platform? I don't think so. I think it's going to be what it, the, like the American model. But yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I still think Sky will be doing bits like they'll be doing international fights and putting things on pay-per-view. Maybe they'll do fights that fights, you know, maybe someone, something like Khan Brook may still go on to Sky. If I mean, because maybe guys like now, I mean, Khan can approach Sky directly and say, okay, I want to do this fight. Will you be interested? And because of Sky not having the Eddie Hearn stable anymore, maybe they'll be, they'll be willing to take uh, fights. Obviously, fights that they think make sense for their business, of course. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.